Businesses need to stay connected with their customers, as well as manage and monitor customer data with a CRM. But a CRM isn't always cost-effective, has customization limitations, and doesn't give you every feature your business needs. Open-source CRMs change that. They allow businesses to modify the software by giving you the source code. This means companies can tailor the system to match their workflows, integrate it with existing tools, and even develop unique features without relying on the vendor's roadmap. Starting from the end, the number three in our list is Espo CRM. If you're thinking about using a self-hosted open-source CRM, you probably already know it gives you more control. Aspo CRM provides great documentation that makes the whole process much easier. You'll learn how to automate sales, track inventory, and manage leads efficiently. Contact management is easy. And there's even a social stream where teams can stay updated on customer activity. Espo CRM also offers reporting tools that generate two types of reports, which can be displayed on your dashboard or exported to Excel. There are many businesses that need a feature-rich CRM, but in a simple manner. Espo won us there. If you look at their interface, the first thing that will catch your eye is a single color view. This isn't a very beautiful interface, at least for us. But as we said, there are people who love to keep things simple, and they will like Espo. Now let's break down their features. As always, the left navigation is the home of all the features. You can find them under three categories. CRM, Activities, and Support. But what's lying underneath is exciting. If you click the three dots in the bottom left corner, you'll see more features for marketing, business, and organizing everything. This wide category of features gives you more control that many other CRMs fail to give. So, what's inside these features? Right under CRM, you'll see Accounts, Contacts, Leads, and Opportunities. You already know that Accounts is for storing and managing all the accounts. When creating an account, we found a small yet useful thing. From the right, you can directly assign a user and a team. So when you get a new customer, you're directly assigning which team will take care of that customer, which will create a very clear understanding of work. The contacts and leads are more or less the same. You'll see something different in the Opportunities tab. Here you'll see two view options one for list view and the other for Kanban. Now, only a couple of view options for managing a pipeline isn't actually enough. But Espo is an open source CRM, so get the open source and tell your developer to add five more views. Simple. The activity section is very, very powerful because it lets you manage your emails, meetings, calls, tasks, and calendar within your CRM. Now let's talk about what could have been better. The reporting and dashboard are not so good here. You are getting only the grid and list reports. That's simply not enough. The integration options are also fewer. But the good thing is, these issues are very much solvable. You already know the reason. It's an open source platform. So just take the source code, follow the documentation, and tweak the changes that are most needed for your business. The number two in our list is VTiger. One of the biggest benefits of using open source software is having a strong community behind it. That's exactly the case with VTiger. It has over 5 million downloads, which means a lot of people are familiar with how it works. If you run into questions, there's a good chance someone in the community has already figured out the answer. Now, let's get into what VTiger actually offers. It comes with email marketing tools like MailChimp integration, calendar reminders, and automation to help businesses keep track of leads strengthen customer relationships, and find new opportunities. But what really makes Vitiger special is how everything is brought together. All customer interactions, sales, and support are organized in one central system, so nothing gets lost. So when you first land on VTiger, you'll see how to get started and add your business information, such as contacts, deals, documents, etc. It's always a good practice to add all the important information to organize your CRM according to your business. The interface is quite intuitive. Intuitive in a sense that you can see two top navigations, but it's not looking cluttered. The top navigation that's showing options like contacts and organizations 
is the one we actually see in the left navigation on other CRMs. But what's so powerful is the blue icon in the top left corner. Just click it and you'll get lost in the sea of features. Every tab here has features under specific categories so that you can find them easily. What's even more powerful is that you just click any of the sections from the top navigation bar. Let's say you're checking out the contacts. You'll see a drop-down menu named My Contacts. Unfold it and again get showered with a lot of features. This time, even more specific. VTiger offers so many features that you might not even have to get the source code and make any changes. Now let's see how to manage pipelines properly in VTiger. Go to the Deals section. Here, you'll manage and monitor all your deals. You can add new deals from the Create button. The good thing about it is you can specify the organization name, pipeline, and sales stage right from the Create form. The pipeline view is very well organized. Like what we showed in the contacts, if you click the My Deals, you'll see wide options to tweak your deals. The report and dashboard are far better than Espo CRM. As you can see, the long list of dashboard options is ready to visualize your numbers in an easy-to-understand manner. Now, is there anything that's not good in VTiger? It's better to say that what's good in VTiger is bad for some. It offers a lot of features, and no wonder that's the reason it's a bit hard to get in hand. The learning curve is not easy, but VTiger has a strong community. No matter what you're facing, there are always people who already faced it and got a solution. It's time to bring the number one open source CRM on our list, and it's none other than Odoo. Odoo's CRM capabilities are part of a broader ecosystem that interconnects business processes. The modular design allows users to activate only the tools they need, such as contact management, order tracking, or email campaigns, while reserving options like manufacturing or project management for later. That's a very effective approach because you don't get lost in features that you don't even need. So as for VTiger, we showed you how many features it offers. Then why is VTiger not number one on our list? Well, we believe that balance is very important when you're running a business. A balanced CRM like Odoo that gives you the features you need makes your operations a whole lot better. Just look at the interface. It's a simple, not-so-wow design, but it's showing exactly what you need. That's it. Nothing extra. To see all your messages and interactions, open the Discuss tab. Unlike other CRMs, you'll see a Slack or Discord-like experience where you can create different channels for different teams or purposes. You can make announcements, video calls, and send attachments too. And in case you're facing some trouble, OdooBot is a nice helping hand. Now let's get back to where we started. This time, open the calendar. See, the calendar view is not so extraordinary, but when you create a meeting from here, you can directly notify attendees both in email and SMS. You can also attach a video call URL through Odoo Meeting. Now let's have a look at the CRM section. Forget everything. Just look at the interface and the features. Just the features you need, nothing more, nothing less. That's the unique selling proposition of Odoo. You don't even have to move to the dashboard section to see the numbers. The reporting tab will show you that. These kinds of combinations are so user-centric, and the integration options are huge in Odoo. Just go to the apps and see. Lots of apps but neatly categorized so that you don't have to waste time searching for them. But while Odoo CRM is technically free, you are only allowed to use one app under a free plan. If you need extra features such as accounting, sales automation, and project management, you would need a paid plan. That said, it's still one of the best if you're looking for a great open source CRM solution for your business. So which one are you going to use for your business? Espo CRM. VTiger or Odoo? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get more insights like this.